Okay, everyone, good morning. Welcome. My name is Nolan Bay, and I am an admissions coordinator for the Office of Undergraduate Admissions. We are so, so, so glad that you are joining us for Premier 2021 at Baylor University, home of the 2021 National Champion Baylor Bears. We're so excited that you're joining us today. You're going to hear this just a few times as we get our attendees starting to trickle in, but we're really excited for you to join the Get Ahead session at Baylor. Guys, you are in for a treat today. Let me tell you, this is a really special session. You are going to get some awesome tips, some awesome tricks. It is going to be lots and lots and lots of fun. So we are once again so excited that uh, you are here for us. Uh, make sure that when you have start having some questions, use that Q&A uh, feature, and we'll be happy to try to answer as many questions as we can. But at this point, as the numbers are starting to lower as they are coming in, I wanted to toss it over to Jessica Garrity, who is the AVP of enrollment. She basically leads admissions and uh, does a lot of things for starting new programs for our office. So Jessica, why don't you take it away? Thanks, Nolan. Good morning. Happy Saturday, everyone. We're coming in. I'm live in Waco in a house with three little boys. So this is as real as it gets, everybody. But um, we're happy you're here. It's a beautiful day in Waco. I saw that we had over 2,200 um, individual viewers for our opening session. And y'all would want to know that you're from 38 different countries and 46 different U.S. states. So congratulations on joining us. Um, I know you have a lot of options on, on Saturdays, and we're glad to spend time with you. Um, like Nolan said, I'm Jessica King Geardy, and I oversee admissions as a part of my enrollment job. I also get to spend a part of my time working on exciting new programs for Baylor um, that help us innovate and be more strategic um, as we aim to enroll the best and the brightest um, and graduate amazing alumni. Um, so I'm going to run this session with one of my friends here that I invited from Longview, Texas, East Texas, Allie White. I'll introduce her in a few minutes. So to start, um, I wanted to tell y'all about two options that you have to start your Baylor journey early and even get ahead. Um, here we go. At Baylor, we've now launched a new pre-college program. This launched just last spring, so only for a few months now, um, although we tried it in a different form last summer. So it's, it's very new to us. We're really excited. Um, Accelerate is the name of it. It's an opportunity for students in the summer, fall, and spring to take courses before you graduated from high school. So these are true Baylor courses with real Baylor professors. Um, right now, they're all taught um, asynchronously. So you're sitting in a virtual classroom with students from around the US or the globe learning from a Baylor faculty member. For this summer, we have two opportunities for students. We have Summer of Discovery, which is our Baylor College program for the summer. Um, that's for rising incoming freshmen all the way through juniors and upperclassmen. Um, right now, we're going to start registration um, for those students. So we'll talk about how to get involved in this next. But if you're on this call, um, you're a participant and you've already been accepted to Baylor and you're in the freshman class, it's possible for you to start with Summer of Discovery this summer. So starting in our June or July sessions. Also, all of you who aren't yet graduated from high school, so you're gonna be a rising senior or a rising junior, we now have an opportunity for you to apply for Accelerate. Um, so Accelerate is the pre-college program and Summer of Discovery is once you've crossed the stage and graduated, you, you begin college um, early if you would like. Last summer, we were able to offer this just to rising seniors um, and some of our incoming freshmen. And last summer, we saw that students did excellent um, when they chose Baylor courses. So here's a list of some of our favorite courses from last summer. Um, I'd like to highlight foreign languages. We offer over a dozen different languages at Baylor. So everything from German to Japanese, um, a lot of diversity compared to your high school classes. Students did great in taking English courses, computer science courses, business courses. They took their core curriculum, which at Baylor is that um, the group of courses that every student has to take. And then your major builds around that. Or they would take courses in their major to start learning more and focusing on how it fits to um, be in the cl classrooms and how it feels to be a student in that major. If you'd like to see the courses offered this summer, 
um, you can go to baylor.edu backslash accelerate or baylor.edu backslash discovery to see the courses that are offered for all of you students, um, depending on which category you'd be in. So how do I apply? This sounds interesting. I wanna get ahead at Baylor. How do I apply? If you are an accepted freshman and you are already hopefully deposited, um, hopefully you've got your seat reserved, you would change your incoming term from fall to summer. So Nolan Bay and the um, counseling team, you could just call us in admissions and contact us and tell us, you know what, Nolan, I was thinking I wanted to start in the fall, but this sounds really interesting. And so why don't I go ahead and get ahead this summer? So Nolan can just change that over. That's basically just a form. You're already admitted. You're ready to go. If you're a high school student um, and you will be a rising senior or a rising junior, we're going to ask you for a very short application. So you apply through baylor.edu backslash accelerate. You fill that out. It probably should just only take a few minutes to fill that out. We kind of want to know some more demographic information on you. We want to know why you're interested in it. And then a fast um, a fast upload of your high school transcript. So we're going to review your high school curriculum. You don't need test scores. Um, we know that's been difficult this last year. You don't need anything else to apply other than your high school performance. What we're looking for is that you took a rigorous high school curriculum and that you have been successful in your high school. So we're looking for students that are almost all A and B students. If you're one of those juniors, we're going to look for a lot of A's, hardly any B's. If you're a senior, we're going to look just like we do for applications to Baylor, that you're succeeding in your high school curriculum, that you're taking rigorous curriculum. And we're gonna look for you to be a, a top student, an A and B student. So that's what we're looking for. Um, you'll send us that, we'll review it really fast. We'll get you in as fast as we can. And we'll look forward to welcoming you into the summer courses. So I will wanna say there's a lot of benefits um, to doing this and a few risks as well. We'll outline those in just a few minutes, but I wanna start by introducing Allie. So Allie is, a current accepted freshman into our next freshman class, the class of 2021, that's starting and graduating, hopefully in 2025, right, Allie? Yes, ma'am. So I um, got to meet Allie, y'all, because she did this last summer. One of the really cool things we offered last summer, and we're going to continue, is as if you're a rising senior and you take nine hours of Baylor summer school in the summer, so we're looking for a, a pretty big load as a rising high school senior, nine hours, and you make a 3.0. So that's all A's and B's in your Baylor courses. Um, again, these are true Baylor courses taught by real Baylor professors. The curriculum is not any different than what it would be when you start at your Baylor years. If you can make a 3.0 and take nine hours, then we're going to go ahead and guarantee your admission, and you'll be the first to get accepted into our freshman class. Last summer, Allie, tell us what you did. Yeah, so I took, okay, so I was not so, so sure about this program. I am very busy in the summer. I actually had a full-time nannying job ahead of me um, for five days a week, and I just thought this was a super cool program, but it just wasn't going to work for me. But my parents encouraged me just to look into it, so I reached out to my admissions counselor, and she got me set up with another administrator at Baylor to walk me through what certain classes would look like, which ones were asynchronous versus synchronous. And by the end of the meeting, I was enrolled in a sociology class, a communications class, and a media class. And in the midst of all my busyness and COVID-19, I got through all three classes and loved every bit of it. It was so different than anything I had done in high school. And it felt so great to get those nine hours under my belt and get a head start on Baylor. And I heard you made really good grades, Allie, too. So why don't we talk about what, what you loved about the classes, what made them hard and how you succeeded so well? Sure, so I loved that even though I was so busy, all the administrators and the professors that I worked with every step of the way were very understanding and they worked with me to help me be successful and to make high grades. And um, I will say it does take diligence. It does take hard work. It, it, they, like she was saying, they are college classes. Um, but if you stick with it, it does give you a real perspective on what these college classes will look like. That was definitely something very different um, for a high school student. But if you work at it and you do well in it, then I learned so much about time management and diligence and applying myself and the rewards of being able to be one of the first students accepted into Baylor 
for the upcoming freshman class was so rewarding and refreshing. Um, it's definitely worth it. And then Allie, how did it feel your senior year to get accepted like in the end of October? You probably got accepted around the, the last weeks of October, right? Yes, ma'am. Oh my goodness, it was crazy. The rest of my class, um, we're still kind of scrambling, not necessarily scrambling, but they're still just kind of looking for colleges. Many of them had not made their decisions yet. And it was, I felt so secure knowing I know where I'm going and I know that I can do well where I'm going because I've mm -hmm. already taken some steps to prepare myself. Mm -hmm. I'm so proud of you, Allie, and it was really fun to um, accept you and probably it was it ended up being around 200 of this incoming class that got accepted by doing summer of discovery um, and or accelerate and doing a 3.0 with nine hours the summer before you begin college. So way to go. And we might have some parents and students ask you questions in just a few minutes. Um, so that's Allie's story. Let's keep talking about some of the benefits of doing this. Um, accelerate, oh, sorry, just Accelerate also will be offering in the fall and the spring and the year to come. We've got a great curriculum set up. We've got computer science. Um, calculus. We've got a class right above calculus if your high school isn't offering that and you're ready for more advanced maths. Um, we've got some honors courses that we're offering, great texts. We're going to have a philosophy of C.S. Lewis class this fall. Nolan, I'm, I'm ready to sign up myself. Um, so y'all can go right now and check out that catalog of classes that will be offered in the fall. So no matter where you are in high school, we could talk to your high school counselor. You could take these courses as a high school student as well just to get ahead. Same with Accelerate Spring 2022. We'll be coming up with that catalog of courses um, probably in the next few weeks, but look for those at the end of the summer. So let's talk about benefits. Um, like we've said, Accelerate allows participants to get a head start on college, all college. You can take your Baylor courses. Like if Allie decided that she didn't wanna to come to Baylor, she could have taken that sociology class that you took um, or the other classes that you took Allie and taken your Baylor transcript and applied those to a different degree. Um, you are taking true Baylor courses. So let's say you do want to advance to Baylor, um, then you're getting them at a really good value. We've decided through the Board of Regents to set the price for these courses at $750 an hour if you're in the um, high school program, that's the Accelerate program. And if you're an incoming freshman, then they're deeply discounted off the regular price um, for summer school. And so both of those avenues, let's think about this. Allie took nine hours. She actually now only needs to take five more hours along her next three-year journey at Baylor, and she will have sliced one semester off of Baylor. So instead of Baylor being a four-year plan for Allie, we could go through right now. I could help her, the um, advising team could help her come up with a three-and-a-half-year map. That means that we really eliminated a full semester of college, if that's what your family wants to do, and that gets into like the $30,000 savings area. So for just a few thousand dollars now, you're getting ahead, you're learning what you're interested in. Um, it prepares students, like Ali has said, for the rigor of Baylor and for all college courses. It gives you confidence when you learn that you can succeed and really takes the stress of all the what ifs of college away where you're learning in kind of a ramped up level. Um, a lot of research shows that when students are exposed to college coursework when they're in high school, it's more likely that you will attend college and that you will persist through graduation and that you will persist more successfully. So again, this gets into success rates in college and having a shorter ramp of not really knowing what you're doing. I know Allie here, I didn't get to ask you this, Allie, but what are you going to major in when you start Baylor this, this summer or fall? So I'm planning on majoring in medical humanities, which is an amazing, amazing degree that we offer at Baylor. It's very unique to us. It talks about uh, treating people in a medical profession holistically, um, not spiritually, uh, philosophically. It gets into a lot of the ethics of medicine. And for Allie to already have a track like that, which is a really rigorous and focused major, um, she's not going to spend an extra year wondering what she wants to do. She gets to jump right into a great major from the beginning. Um, and then at the end, the Baylor Accelerate students are investing. We know it's an investment. We know that this is not just a small time commitment. It's not a small 
financial commitment, but it is a commitment in um, your investment in yourself, in your education with a valuable transcript from a private Christian research university. So we know you have a lot of options when it comes to dual credit. You can go to any community college in your neighborhood or in your community. We know there's great community colleges throughout Texas, in California, in Colorado. Um, we too take credit from those schools too. So why would you do Baylor? You do Baylor because you want to understand what it's like to be in a Baylor classroom. You want to get ahead with your Baylor degree and you want to be taught by Baylor faculty that really care about you. Um, and they, they know if you're in the high school program that they're teaching high school students and they've all opted in for that because they want to offer you a transformational college experience at the earliest point in time. Um, there are a few risks. So let's talk about that. Any dual enrollment program that you ever do, um, whether it is your community college or whether it would be joining us in Accelerate or Summer of Discovery, um, those grades do become a, lack, a locked in um, perspective of your college performance. And so it is a permanent record and we can't undo um, grades if you don't actually participate and you don't try. What I can say is um, the students that did do uh, Accelerate and Summer of Discovery last year, so the group that Allie was in, um, there was about 250 of them. 220 of them finished that um, nine point those nine hours with a 3.0 or higher. So huge success rate. Actually, Allie, your grades and the grades of the students that you were participating with your high school cohort, y'all outperformed incoming freshmen and current Baylor students. We all know current Baylor students are really smart. So clearly y'all just tried harder because I do think you're all able to make great grades. But um, if that isn't just evidence of the fact that as a high school student, you really care. And like you said, you gave it a lot of time and energy and attention. You were able to rise to this, to the, to meet the challenge. Um, but overall, almost all of our students have this exact same story. So we know that we can work with you um, as a high school student, if you're willing in, to put in the effort to make the grades. I will say, if you don't put in the effort, you still get a permanent academic record. So please don't do it if you're not interested in really applying yourself. Um, and then if you aren't able to attend Baylor or you choose not to in the end, we can't guarantee that all the courses that you take would transfer to other universities. You can always go look at that university and see if they've accepted Baylor credit in the past and probably they have. Um, we accept credit from almost every regional community college all the way through a four year accredited institution or from the US and around the globe. Um, so probably it would be that way, but we can't guarantee that. Um, so now we're at the point of our session. Nolan, I hope we did you proud. You said we had 20 minutes. It's 1118. What's the best question that Allie or I can answer, Nolan? Yeah, we've been quite a few um, that come in. And if you did not get your question answered, I've been trying to answer as many as I could while Jessica was speaking. So I did not get to get to everyone here. Um, I'm, I'm going to drop um, our email address inside of the chat as well. So in case you don't see that, please feel free to email us those questions. We'll be happy to get back to you. Give us a little bit of grace. Give us a day or two, but we will get back to you. I promise you that. Um, so some of the, co the courses are really, uh, really towards Ali, um, just a little bit more of kind of what really stood out the absolute most for taking these courses as a high school student? What really stood out? For me, it was getting familiar with a college course because I, I, my school doesn't offer um, a whole lot of dual credit and college type courses. And so for me, this was the first time that I was um, this was really available to me. And so I'm so glad that I jumped on it because I got familiar with the different platforms that Baylor University actually uses to put out assignments and to turn in things. And I was able to get used to the, um, the timeline and the speed because it is quick and the different types of rigor that the college course requires that is very different from high school. And so, but to me, the fact that I was able to do it well the fact that I was able to apply myself and the fact that the professors helped me to become successful in this course was very eye-opening to me that even though these college classes were more difficult and it was very different than anything I had done in high school, I was able to do it. And it gave me that confidence that, okay, I can do college. I'm ready for this. I have taken steps and I already just giving me a boost into my college and I have the confidence to move forward and I'm excited for the fall. 
And Allie's not bragging on herself, but I believe you made a 3.6 GPA, didn't you, Allie? Or maybe better. Um, I believe it was around there, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so, um, so y'all imagine being 17 or 18, taking these Baylor courses and learning like Allie did that you can do this. It really does probably alleviate so much anxiety. Um, and then the fact that she was accepted first in our class and get, got to make her deposit and got to move forward in her college decision-making without wow. those unknowns of how am I going to do when I get there? Jessica, a quick question for you that, that's going to come up a few times in some of our Q&As. So when we're talking about taking nine hours, is that like all together or can they split those up over two summer sessions over the summer? Yeah, we, that's a great question. So nine hours is about, you know, a little more than a half of a college semester. When you do summer school, you can take up to six hours per session. So we wouldn't recommend more than two classes in one of the sessions one month. And this is all online. It, it's from wherever you are. You would take two courses in June, maybe two or one, and then you take the other one or two in July. So we would do a two course stack against a one course stack. What did you do, Allie? Did you do two in June and one in July or did you do the opposite? Um, I'm not actually sure what order I did it in, but I know did, um, I believe it was the theater and the communications class. I stacked those and the sociology was on its own. Um, yes. And that was very helpful. I had honestly no idea what I was doing going into this, but the admissions counselor that I worked with um, obviously knew exactly what they were doing and they saw, okay, so this half of your summer is much busier than this half of your summer. I would recommend this class because it's more reading intensive paired with this class. You'll be able to do that better. And then you can do this class on its own. And they really did help me work through all of that because if you feel like you don't know what you're doing, it's okay. Baylor is going to mm -hmm. help you get through that and they know how to make their students successful. Yes, on that note, I would say and add this in, Nolan, none, none of you will be registering yourself. We will have an academic advisor walk every single student through. These are the real academic advisors you'll have when you're a Baylor student. So if you're anticipating that it will be a business major, then we have our business advising staff. They're professional staff. They work 12 months out of the year at Baylor to help get students staying on track for graduation. So from day one, you'll be working with professional advisors who will actually do the work of registering you. So if you're a parent who has a, you know, history of understanding the way it works at maybe a large state school, or you have brothers and sisters that are at a different kind of university, Baylor really, we're going to hold your hand through this. We know that you're a high school student, or this is your first time as an incoming freshman, and we've got you. We don't want anyone to make a mistake. And on that note, also, like Allie was saying, we wouldn't recommend that you take two heavy reading and intensive classes at the same time. We're going to guide you to mix your classes so that you can use a range of your skills. But if we've got a heavy reading course, um, probably like your sociology class was a heavier reading course versus theater and communications. We're gonna go ahead and balance those out for you so that you can make sure to focus um, and learn the differences in different kinds of courses, which is exactly what you'll do when you're a full-time student as well. And Jessica, my final question for you. So when we take a um, an Accelerate program or the Summer Discovery program, it's really geared towards more towards Accelerate. Are you getting a real Baylor transcript of this? Are these actual real Baylor classes? Absolutely. All the way through. I've said it this whole time. You're taking a real class with a real professor. You might have upperclassmen in your classes too. If an upperclassman didn't get to take a history 1300 course, you're going to be sitting in class with current Baylor students. You're probably going to try so hard and do so well that you're going to lift the entire class. You might be your professor's very favorite student. Last summer, all I heard was that the high school students were the favorites. Um, so don't worry about being intimidated with being with upperclassmen, but yep, it's exactly the same. There's no difference. That's why your transcript will be a full Baylor transcript. Um, doesn't matter how or when you took the class, if you were high school or if you had already walked the your high school graduation stage. All right. Well, thank you so much for those that are that are here and those that listen to today's um, presentation. We are so glad that you joined us today. There are lots of sessions throughout the rest of the day. I would strongly encourage you pick out a few that you are, that really interest you. And we are so excited to teach you a little bit more about Baylor. As always, we are so thankful that you joined us today. And always remember from our end, Sikkim Bears. Take care, everybody. Thanks, y'all. Thanks, Allie. You were the best. Woo! Go, Allie. Thank you. <laughs> I can't wait for you to be on campus.
I cannot wait to be on campus. <laughs> <laughs> when do you move in? Are you coming for the fall? Uh, yes, ma'am. I believe it's the beginning of August. Yep. All right, friends. Do you I know? do have to head to my next session, so I will. Okay, Nolan. We Great can job, talk. everybody. <laughs> Bye, Sorry. Allie. You did great. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye.